Hey everyone, welcome to another Daily Dose of Radiation. I'm Chris Riley, and today we're doing a Halloween-themed spooky episode on scary, subtle signs on chest x-ray. So here's our first chest x-ray image, and I want you to pause, take a second to see if you can spot what's wrong. And our first scary subtle finding here is a diagnosis of pneumomediastinum. Here we see longitudinal radiolucent streaks going up the mediastinum. What really stands out here is the thin radiolucent line in between the visceral and parietal pericardium. We also see subcutaneous emphysema in the supraclavicular area and the soft tissue of the neck. Here's our next example of a chest x-ray. This is a supine film. Take a second to pause and try to guess what pathology is present here. In this supine chest x-ray, we see increased sharpness of the adjacent mediastinal margin and diaphragm. This is suggestive of pneumothorax. And if you stuck to your systematic approach, you would find a displaced right seventh rib fracture and right midclavicular fracture. Finding pneumothorax in a supine chest x-ray can be very difficult. One of the only signs you may see is an increase in the sharpness of your mediastinal or diaphragmatic surfaces. So be on high alert. And here's our last example of a subtle scary finding in a chest x-ray. Take a second to pause and see if you can find this scary subtle finding. We see an enlarged aortic knob or aortic arch some other findings are tracheal deviation, opacification of the AP or aortopulmonary window, and lastly, left apical capping. All of these are consistent with aortic dissection. Remember, we should never order a chest x-ray to rule out dissection. A lot of these will end up looking normal. And those are some scary, subtle chest x-ray findings. Thanks for stopping by. <laughs>